What's going on, guys? So, a little while ago, me and Chris went on a little bit of an adventure uh, out in Whitby and Oshawa to go hit up some breweries. So, here's some more beer from that little trip, which was a great time. I don't remember if it's, there's a video going up of it. I think, maybe, I don't know, couldn't tell you, but here's, here's beer from Brock Street Brewing Company. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mick Brewski, for the Ruska Brewski Review. And today the beer I have for you guys is from Brock Street Brewing Company out in Oshawa, Whitby, I always forget, Whitby. Would be. I mean, the, the, the towns are more or less side by side, so sometimes you get a little bit mixed up. But here we go. Boom. Brock Street Brewing Company Strong Scotch Ale, which is always an awesome time. I love me a Scotch Ale. This is, uh, according to Untapped, a Scotch Ale or a Wee Heavy, which is totally fine by me. But yes, Strong Scotch Ale, a signature tank 7 series release. Coming in at 7% alcohol by volume and 20 IBU. So, boom, there we go. I need a bottle opener for this. Thankfully, my red stripe bottle opener is not too far away, so I can just reach over, grab it. Let's pop this top, throw this. It's just gonna go on the floor, and that's gonna be fine. We're gonna pour it into my Exchange Brewery fat glass. I don't, it's not a tulip style, it's just a fat glass. That's what I'm calling it. Let's pour it up. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, say dark. Yeah, we're gonna pour that much in there. That looks to be a good amount. Looking at the beer, very, very deep amber, a little bit of a brown, light tanned head on top as well. Not too much of a head on that particular pour. We'll have to see how uh, how it transits in the beer, but I do see some carbonation bubbles coming up from the uh, from the center of the glass here, <clears throat> which is pretty cool, but very nice. Ruby, deep amber, slightly brown color coming from it. Fairly clear, no haze to it, just a, just a very dark looking beer. But looking pretty in, indeed, without smell. On the nose, on the nose, what am I getting here? Dark fruits, like plums, dates, raisins possibly. Dark fruit notes, a nice whole wheat brown bread. A little bit of caramel, heavy toffee. No nuttiness, but damn. Yeah, caramel, toffee, dark fruits. A little bit of booziness, a little bit of alcohol, heat. But not too much, definitely rounded out by that bready note and that heavy toffee. Pretty damn good. Let's just have a sip. That's a that's a wee heavy right there. Wow. Whoa. Where do I start? Hmm. Lingering flavors are good. I need another minute. I need to figure this out. Ooh. Ooh. This is this is good. This is really good. I need another sip. That kind of just I don't know. Takes a second. Takes a second. So I need another sip. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Flavors. Toffee. Dark fruits. A little bit of alcohol heat. A little bit of a little bit of hot 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 alcohols there, but not not a lot. Not too many. Nice nice kick to it. Um, there is something in there else that I need to figure out. Yeah, it's um, you get your bready notes in there as well. The the the, the brown bread, uh, right in the back, a little biscuity. But there is some. I'm trying to figure out if it's hop flavor. I don't think it's hop flavor. I think it's. I don't know what it is. What is that? It's like it's grainy. It's, there's a grainy note in the mid to the finish kind of thing. That is damn good. Holy. Yeah, starts off toffee, dark fruits, 
higher alcohols uh, or hotter alcohol, sorry, then moving into that grainy note and then finishing off on a bready note and then the grain and a uh, little bit of uh, alcohol bitterness lingers. That is that, that seems to be the way that it's going so far, which is great. It is just a damn, wow, that's put together beautifully. Everything flows, nothing's out of place. The, uh, the, 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 the hotter alcohols definitely give you a bit of warmth throughout, which is really nice. It's a nice compliment to the, uh, to the sweeter toffee notes. The bready, slightly biscuity note at the end <clears throat> rounds everything off, especially those hot alcohols. It just puts everything back in place. It's a really well-constructed flavor profile on this beer so far. Mouthfeel on it, spot on. Low to mar moderate carbonation, so not getting a lot of carbonation bite by any means. It's not a heavy beer either. Um, it's definitely, it's a light to moderate uh, heaviness of body kind of thing. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very easy beer to drink. It's not syrupy. It's not thick. It's got a lot of flavor to it, and that flavor definitely adds. Adds, adds a little bit of an aspect to the body itself. But yeah, let, I would say more of a moderate body than anything. Fan free, fantastic. Those those hotter alcohols, it just has a beautiful placement. It's not overbearing, it's not taking away from anything, it's not coming out of left field kind of thing. It's just put together. Mmm. That is damn good. Let's see what the bottle has to say. Brock Street Brewing Company, Strong Scotch Ale, a signature Tank 7 series release. 7% uh, ABV, 20 IBUs, EBC, which is a color uh, note, is sitting at 40. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Original gravity of 15.2 degrees Play-Doh, and a final gravity of 2.6 degrees Play-Doh. Nothing fancy on the logo, just a lot of information, which is very, very cool. Always, always love that. On the side, we do, we got a other few things. Uh, let's start on this side. Product of Canada, Signature Tank, ten, tank 7 Series, sorry. No preservatives, no additives, unfiltered. Tasting notes, malt, delicious and smooth. This strong scotch ale lagers for an unprecedented three months. Wow, three months uh, before its release. Clean finish with a touch of residual sweetness and a gentle warming on the palate from the 7% ABV. On the other side, ingredients, we have filtered water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Now, give me one second, because <clears throat> the tasting notes, no, sorry, not the tasting notes, but a note said, it says it's unfiltered. They mean the beer itself is unfiltered. The water is going to be filtered, I guess for their purposes, just to change the water profile to make it more acceptable for making this style of beer. So the beer itself is unfiltered but the water obviously filters. So anybody wants to, you know, anybody had a, had an issue, maybe I misspoke, do you think that? Nope, water's filtered, the beer's not filtered. So there we go, clearing that up. Brewed in historic downtown Whitby at Brock Street Brewing Company, 244 Brock Street South, Whitby, Ontario. Pretty cool. Uh, on the side, experimental batch of premium craft beer. I guess that's what their Tank 7 series is. Sort of like um, uh, Great Lakes Tank 10 series. They keep a tank and they use that for their funky limited releases. So, pretty cool. Uh, any package on or best before dates? Not that I see. No, it is a 500 ml bottle. I see no date code or time code or best before dates. Anything like that. So, something to note there as well. I always love to see best before or canned on dates. I think those should be a staple on every beer product that is created. It just seems to make sense, but that's just me. Overall, nice looking bottle for sure. Not too graphically, um, <clears throat> you know, amazing or anything, but information is definitely key. It's a clean looking label, great stuff. No real big complaints. Just the date code is, is kind of bugging me, but not the end of the world. Moving over to the website, brockstreetbrewing.com, you go to our beers, and this is under the available now section. Uh, strong Scotch Ale, which is on tap. Uh, again, 7% ABV, 20 IBUs, list the ingredients, and they list the same tasting notes that is on the bottle. Other than that, nothing. 
<laughs> nothing else about the beer, nothing really fancy. Most information is right on the bottle. <clears throat> In terms of price, um, I do not remember. You can go to the shop online section, but they do not list this as being as an online pickup. Then again, it looks like it is only available on tap at the moment. So maybe they still have some bottles left in their bottle shop. Uh, don't let me be the, uh, don't quote me on that, but available still on tap. So go down there. Also, they do have the 12 Bistro there. Um, they, and it looks like that's what's providing the food. And oh my God, the, the portions are, are absolutely massive. Uh, I got a burger when I was at Brock Street with Chris and um, it had two two patties. There were about five or six ounces ounces each. They were it was a massive burger, and it came with pork belly. I got that on the side, but it was just it was it was huge in like circumference and height. And I'm just like holy shit! It was a damn good food, a damn good food. But finally, moving over to Untap, the Strong Scotch Ale. Damn, that's good. Has been given. A 3.63 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of only 68 ratings. Why not make it 69? Why not? You know, gotta have a little bit of fun. Boom, done, cool. 69 ratings, nice. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was silly. That was childish, but hey, you got, you got, you gotta have a little bit of fun, right? But yeah, 3.63 bottle caps out of 5, 68 ratings, 69 now officially, but hey, who's counting? Overall, a damn delicious beer. The nose on it is, is wonderful, the flavors are great, it's not a heavy beer, it's not a light beer, it just sits perfectly, 7% ABV, with that little bit of alcohol, heat, warming me up, not overbearing, just a perfect, perfect amount, damn good. sweet it's got some alcohol kick to it alcohol bite mmm damn good cheers on the final sip guys let's get ready to ring and wrap this thing up I love me a wee heavy I love scotch ales just oh, I don't know I don't know what I don't know what it is about them the, between the alcohol heat and the nice sweets sweetness you get from some darker fruits and just caramel and toffee is just Tickles my fancy. So that's why Brock Street Brewing Strong Scotch Ale gets a solid. Gets a solid. 8 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, the bottle looks fantastic. Not too many graphics, but that's fine. Because they did pack a lot of information onto the label, which I love. The only thing, again, uh, no canned on or bottled on or best before dates. Bit of a bummer. Not the end of the world. Website looks good. Um... I can't get to it like a single page, just more menu style look of it um, for the beers, but again, not as much information on the website, but at least it's on the bottle, so it's right in your face as you're drinking, so that's a, that's a great, great thing indeed. Presentation also gets a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Rooski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Rooski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Let's pour up the rest of the beer. Will it fit in this glass? I would assume so, because this is a pretty fat glass. I think it could hold all of it. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Cheers.